Hi, today I'm going to show you how I groom a cocker's head. Now he doesn't have a lot of coat, but this is um, the basic idea to give you. So I'll use a number 10 on the ear here. And basically I, I trim both sides. You really want to uh, get the hair around the openings because cockers um, get a lot of ear problems. So I basically go down, see where this skin folds over, skin flap, I go right down to the bottom. You can also use a number uh, 15 or 30, or you can go reverse. So just where it folds, this fold here, see how it folds over? I just go to the bottom of that. You can either use the edge of your clipper if you're brave enough to do this, or you can use your scissors to get the edges here. Just be careful because you can cut that. You know, tidy, uh, just the bottom of the ear. So that's the ear. Then I'm going to take my number 10. Just do lightly uh, by the eyes here, between the eyes. I don't like to go too close because it cuts into the natural coat, the undercoat. So the corners I like to get nice and short. With a 10. Then I'll use my 7F which I like because it doesn't cut into the undercoat there. It's just taking off all this uh, fuzz. Now he's just a pet, a pet cocker. He doesn't go into shows or anything. So the show dogs would be done um, differently. Come here, where are you going? There's not a lot of coat, but I like to go in reverse up his chin and then take off all these whiskers just for like a uh, more natural look smooth you want to check these flues here they get a build up of dirt and hair you gotta pull the skin back You can go in there with a tent as well, which I'm going to do. Come here. Are you out of the camera? <laughs> Hang on. There. He keeps stretching. He's like going further and further away. Oh. 
Hang on, sorry guys. There we go. Can you see all that? Hang on. All right guys, he likes to pull in every angle. Okay, so just lift up the chin. Make sure all the skin is tight before you clip. Yeah, my buddy. Let me see. That's all right. Boy, so you can come back and check the flu area and take your tan and get in there and along the lip lines too. There we go. Okay, for the top of the head, I'm going to use my number two blade because I, I used that number two on the body on the back. So I'm just doing the front half, like where the beginning of the ears, like right here. Sorry, he's not a, a good candidate for this. Hang on. There we go. Hmm. We're going lower and lower, buddy. So I leave a little bit of a crown here and I just comb it forward and use my thinners here. So I just go round and round and round. Now show crackers are done differently and it depends on the type of coat you have here as well. Sometimes they're not even cut, they're just kind of combed back. So his I just like to uh, trim a little bit just to keep a little bit of roundness on top of his head. So like that, then I'll clean up around his ears. There we go. So like that. So hopefully you guys can see because I know it's hard to film and uh, keep the, the camera steady while he's moving all over the place. He just likes to hang his head and stretch and everything else. See, the camera's not even facing your head. There we go. Okay. So basically I just did like a dome, a dome shape on top of its head here and use my um, thinners. And that's it. Thanks for watching.